gonna do another day of eating video so it's early it's Saturday morning and I'm gonna show you what I'm eating for breakfast I'm gonna show you what we're gonna eat for lunch dinner snacks anything that I eat today and then count up all the macros and lighting's terrible there. and go from there so for breakfast it's the usual protein bar and a glass of milk All right, time for some cardio. My Saturday morning consists of mowing, which is my steady state cardio for the day. Time to figure out what we're having for lunch. I'm gonna call Amanda and ask her. It's probably gonna be, I don't know, what do you want? And I'm gonna say I don't know, and then she's gonna say I don't know. I'm assuming everyone goes through this when if they have a wife or a girlfriend or, or their husband or their boyfriend, they always go through the what do you want to eat and nobody has any idea what they want to eat unless you say something and then they say they don't want it, then they don't shoot. You get the gist, let's call. Hello. What do you want to eat? Um, you just picked up something for you and Rye. You don't want anything? No. What are you gonna eat? Maybe, where are you gonna go? I don't know, what do you want? Well, I don't want anything. <laughs> then why'd you ask where I'm going? So apparently we're not eating together. So I'll figure out something that uh, me and Ryder can eat. We'll see what we get. What do you want to eat? McDonald's. You want McDonald's? What do you want from McDonald's? Um, chicken nuggets, french fries, and from the sauce, and toy. Between sour sauce and Sprite. Okay, I'll go get McDonald's. Guess I'm going to McDonald's. Hello, McDonald's. How can I help you? Can I get a uh, Mighty Kids Meal Nuggets? Sweet and sour, please. What to drink? Sprite. And what would you like for your second side? Uh, can I get apple slices? Yes, you can. Anything else? And then, can I get two McDoubles? A s two small fries? And a large Coke Zero? Ate the McDonald's, got the pre-workout done. Gonna have some BCAAs as well while I'm working out, but I really, I do not track those. So I don't track the pre-workout and I don't track the BCAAs. So I don't count the BCAAs as protein. I don't really track the pre-workout. You gonna work out? Yes. Is it workout day? Yes. What day is it? Uh, I don't know. It's workout day. Workout day. Say, what day is it? Workout day. Yeah. My workout today was actually supposed to be leg day and doing uh, squats and deadlifts. I was uh, in Detroit this last week for work and for whatever reason, I don't know if it's the mattresses or what it was, but basically my lower back has been tight the last two days and hurting pretty bad, so I've been taking some painkillers for that and, and helping with that. But I'm gonna wear a belt today. I'm gonna do back and by, so I'm gonna skip leg day for today because I don't wanna agitate it anymore and prolong it any longer. So I'm gonna do back and bys, wear a belt to make sure that I try to mobilize my lower back as much as possible because it's loosened up and it feels a lot better today, but no reason to agitate it. But the moral of this story is really, don't let something stop you, do something else. If you've hurt something, if you've hurt your knee, skip leg day, do upper body. Don't let something hinder what you're doing and make you stop what you're doing because if you get out of it for a long time Then it's harder to get back in it becomes easier just to say I don't have time to do this I don't want to do this. So whatever your problem is whether it's an elbow do legs if it's 
you, you've torn a pec or hurt your pec, once again, do legs. Don't let an injury stop you unless you need to take it easy, which obviously don't push anything. So if you do have an injury, don't try to push it and try to re-injure it or try to force yourself into it. Do something different. Do something that uh, doesn't hurt or a muscle group that, that's not affected by it and try to be as careful and as cautious as possible, but don't let it stop you. Wanted to quickly say something about these bars. This is Fit Crunch by Robert Irvine. They, this one in particular is chocolate chip cookie dough. I don't think it tastes anything like chocolate chip cookie dough. What I do think it tastes like is sort of a fudge brownie. And this is probably one of my favorite bars based on the flavor, based on the protein. It is really good. Delicious, just telling you. All right, what are we eating? What do you want to eat? What are we eating? I'm just so hungry. Me too. What are we eating? Mm. All right. Always remember, make the pregnant wife happy. She's gonna say, I never do, and I always get my way, but the majority of the time, she always gets what she wants. Although she might not think that, but I think that. I think she gets what she wants the majority of the time. But she's gonna dispute that, like I said. So, steaks tonight, because of her, because all she wants is red meat, which is fine. So we're having steaks, two strip steaks, corn, and mashed potatoes, I got refrigerated mashed potatoes because I'm lazy today, but supposedly they're all natural, so made with butter and, and real potatoes. They should be good. The macros on them are pretty good. There's only like 22 carbs per serving and three grams of protein, I think, about 220 calories or so, give or take. And that's what's for dinner. Finishing off my day with just one and a half cups of skim milk. The fat, obviously there's nothing there. The carbs are less than uh, normal skim milk, only six grams and then uh, more protein. So we got 13 grams of protein in this. So one and a half cups and that'll finish off the day. Here are my macros for the day. And we'll bring up the nutrition here. So exceeding my protein, good. Exceeded my carbs by a little bit, so that's not bad. And then my fat I exceeded by quite a bit, which is not good, and that's just because of the McDonald's uh, today for lunch. If I wouldn't have had McDonald's, I would have been just fine with the fat, and the steak is uh, a little more fatty than, say, a lean piece of chicken or something. So there you have it. That's my day.